Hey guys, it's me Courtney and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the new Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer as well as a few of the blushes that I picked up. <sighs> also, I did pick up the um, 125 bronzer brush or face brush. I don't actually know if it's just for the bronzer or for the blush, but I did use it for the bronzer, which you will see in the demo portion as well. I'm gonna do some shade swatches, some comparisons. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the product. You guys are gonna see a demo of this look. We're gonna get into all the details in the video. So if you are interested in my thoughts, what it looks like, all of that great stuff, then please continue to watch. <laughs> all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the cream bronzer. I'm gonna go into one side, with a sponge and I'm going to do the other side with a brush and I'm going to attack it just like I would any cream product so I'm going to put it sort of where my contour is but a little bit higher as well now the thing with this bronzer is it is super emollient super duper tacky and so what is happening as soon as it hits this section right here where it's meeting it it has like this weird line sort of situation where it's like almost um, oxidizing a little. So I'm going to take the side of my beauty blender and try to blend that down a little more so that there's not like a stark line. I'm trying to build it up a little bit more, but it's not doing too, too much. So I think this is about where we're going to have it, which I mean, it doesn't look horrible I think the main issue that I'm seeing at the moment is that it is super duper tacky um super sticky not necessarily oily but just it's you can feel it like it's there <laughs> um so what I'm gonna do is go in on this side with the brush and I'm gonna go in with the actual Fenty which one is this one the 125 face brush I do think that the brush, while it does um, sort of put it down really nicely, it does give a little bit more um, pigment down. I do feel like after a while it gets a little sloppy, a little messy, a little patchy. This is what we're looking like so far. I feel like the things that I want to do with this makeup look, what I want to do to sort of fix everything is to actually go in with products that I shouldn't have to go into like a contour and a bronzer um, to actually fix this um, because there's just not enough definition and depth and warmth and all the things that I love my skin to look like it's just not enough in this product I am going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Match Sticks and Truffle and I'm just going to do the smallest little contour right there like right in that crevice and I'm going to see if that gives me a little bit more depth You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go with my gut <laughs> and I'm gonna take a little bit of the Fenty Beijing and Gal Bronzer. I went ahead and bronzed up the rest of my face so I feel like I have a little bit of contour, a little bit of color. Um, not really due to this product, but that's okay. It's still like gleaming through so that's pretty good. And I feel like the powder sort of subdued the uh, cream bronzer a little bit now I do want to mention that on this side it did start to get a little bit patchy might be actually patchy on that side too but you know it's neither here nor there I think today we're gonna go in with strawberry drip again it's a really really creamy emollient product I feel like it's supposed to go cream to powder but maybe it just for some reason on my skin it just stays tacky I really think that's pretty I'm gonna take my um, this is a BH cosmetics brush this is typically what I would use if I'm going to use like a putty blush or something like that that's not too bad either I really think the blushes are very beautiful especially the colors but again I have an issue where my cheek is sticky 
<laughs> when I try to go in with my highlighter, it's going to stick right to that top part. So I'm gonna try to use more of a subtle highlighter today so that I can sort of blend this little, I guess, oxidized wet meets dry area if I can blend that out a little bit better. And hopefully as well, the setting spray kind of um, cleans that up too. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more. All right, so this is the actual face that we are rocking today. Um, So let me give you a little bit of info on the actual bronzers and all of that great stuff. This is what the actual cream bronzer looks like on the outside. Now it is $32 for point. 22 ounces and the thing about it is I did want to do a little bit of research as far as like cream bronzers go um, but I wanted to base it on stuff that I've actually used um, so the first product that is similar to this one that I use heavily <laughs> um, is the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. I got the shade medium in this one. All right, so this is the Fenty Cream Bronzer and this is the Huda um, Contour Bronzer Cream in medium. So you can see a huge, huge difference. The Huda Beauty Tantor Cream is actually $30 and you get .42 ounces. So for the Huda one, you get a lot more product than you do with the Fenty. That's one. All right, so that's the closest cream bronzer that I've tried that's like similar to what we're trying to achieve with it. Now, I also did want to mention a few other products within the Fenty Beauty realm as well. This one is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer. I got the color Beige and Gal in this one. This is their regular powder bronzer. This one is $30. 4.22 ounces as well while you have your cream bronzer which is 32 4.22 ounces um, and as you can see there is like a slight variation of difference I still feel like this one is a little bit more warm while again this one is golden I still think they're both really really beautiful colors but just be mindful that the powder and the cream both have the same amount of product in it while the cream is $32 and this one is 30. With that being said, I do feel like it kind of depends on how much product you're going to use at one time, what your method is of using it, how much bronzer do you go through regularly, that kind of thing. And now I also wanted to compare it to the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks. I think hands down, like my favorite contour of all time, the Match Stick is $25 for point to five ounces. Even though it doesn't seem like a lot of product, this contour stick lasts a really, really long time. So this is a really good bang for your buck. And it actually comes in 22 shades that are both contour, cool tones, warm tones, neutral tones, all that great stuff in one. As I was mentioning, this does come in seven shades. I got the shade Teddy. As far as the actual cream bronzers go, I'm gonna read what the um, details are. It said it is a light as air, non-greasy cream bronzer that effortlessly melts into skin for a natural looking bronze or soft contour and a range of no fuss shades for all skin tones. When it comes to products in general, bronzers, anything like that, I typically go deeper with my bronzer. However, I knew that the chocolate shade was going to be way too deep for me. Even though in the Huda bronzer, I got a, a medium and it still looks really, really rich. I still feel like in the Huda bronzer, I could have went a little bit lighter and still got what I was looking for. Um, I still use it, don't get me wrong, but it is really easy to go overboard if you're not careful. Now, with that being said, if you do want to do like a my skin but better type of situation with this bronzer, I think it's fully, you're fully able to get that. However, if you're going for warmth to your skin or depth to your skin, then this isn't gonna be the way to go. As far as the actual cream blushes go, each of these are $20 for 0.1 ounce. The only other blushes that I could really compare it to that I've tried would be the Nude Sticks um, blushes. Those are $32 for 0.25 ounces. Um, that one wasn't my favorite when I did try it. It did leave my skin really, really tacky, so I wasn't a fan of it. Um, but also, within the Fenty Beauty realm of things, you have the Fenty Shimmer Skin Sticks. These are $25 for 0.25 ounces. And again, you're not gonna use a ton of this. I know it only has 0.25 ounces and that's it. However, you're not gonna use a ton of this and typically what I do is I'll take my sponge and sort of wipe it off and then dab it on kind of thing. And it gives me a really beautiful payout. These blushes do come in 10 shades total. I got 
four. So I got Fuego Flush, which is a soft tangerine with shimmer. I got Strawberry Drip, which is a soft coral pink. Daiquiri Dip, which is a soft coral red. And I got Summertime Wine, which is a soft berry with shimmer. the description of these it said it is a light as air non greasy cream blush that instantly melts into skin for a wash of color and natural looking flush in 10 easy to use sheer shades so these are going to be sheer <laughs> which is unfortunate because I feel like a lot of people looked at the colors and assumed that they were gonna be a little bit more pigmented which don't get me wrong I do feel like daiquiri drip that is not it Daiquiri Drip and Summertime Wine are a little bit more pigmented, but I also feel like the further you go down the list of 10 shades, the more pigmented they might become. But just keep in mind, they are a little bit sheer. You can go um, ham with them, build them up a little bit more, but the more that you build them up, the tackier they are going to be. Um, so as far as today, I decided not to set my cheek, so my cheek is still tacky. Um, I'm not a fan of how it feels when I touch it, but just the look alone, I still think it looks really beautiful. And the color is there, it's not too overpowering. Um, again, if you want to build them up, you can. It's just going to get tackier and tackier. I just didn't want to go through that today. And then when it came to putting my actual highlighter on, I did have to really blend it. There was a line of demarcation where the powder met with the blush. Um, so I really had to blend that highlighter in between the two. I still feel like I can see it a little bit, but I'm not too mad at it. When it comes to the cream bronzer, I feel like I could probably try the next shade, the chocolate shade, and it's gonna be a little bit more like my Huda bronzer. However, I just, I don't feel like it's worth it for me to even go back and try it. I just, I'm not impressed with the tackiness of it all. And the shades to me just, they're not hitting for a bronzer for me. And they're not hitting for a contour for me either. Um, and that's why I wanted to give you guys a few different options. The one that I have in the powder form, Beijing Gal, this is one of my favorite bronzers. It gives me just enough warmth. I kinda wish uh, we just would have extended this shade range because I don't feel like we need this. I feel like especially with the color selection of these, I feel like you could just get the match stick. And if you wanted, you can get more of a warm color or you can get a contour color or you can get, you know what I mean? You can sort of specify it to your actual skin tone. I just feel like the bronzer in and of itself, especially in the colors, wasn't necessary. And I do feel like the actual product itself isn't the greatest. As far as the actual cream blushes go, I do really, really enjoy the colors. I do feel like they're super beautiful, super unique colors. However, um, she has the matte sticks, the shimmer skin stick, and these are so much better. <laughs> These are so much better than these. I feel like for one, if you're somebody that has oily skin, you can't wear these cream blushes. Even if you set it, it's still going to peek through and be super shiny. And I feel like your oils mixed on top of the tackiness is going to feel disgusting. And then the actual Fenty Matte Sticks are more of a cream to powder type of situation. And a lot of times, like I said, I'll just take my blender and go in with it and then tap it on the skin and it gives the most beautiful color. So if it's between this, which these are 25 and these are 20, I would just go with these. It has a beautiful range of colors. Like this one is called Chili Mango, which is like that orange golden. Y'all see that? So this is Chili Mango and then this is Fuego Flush. 
and I just I feel like if you're gonna go for this orangey blush it makes more sense especially if you are a little bit more melanated it it definitely makes more sense to go for this one rather than this one this is more of a highlighter and even with this color it's still going to show that sheen on your cheek which again I just feel like the cream products aren't necessary <laughs> and then this is another shade this one's called Redic. you see that pigmentation like and I kid you not, once you use your actual beauty blender in it and put it on your cheek, it still shows up pretty pigmented, whereas these sort of sheer out. Now, if you are somebody that wants a sheer blush, then definitely go this way. But if you want pigmentation, then I would just go with the matchsticks. All right, guys, that about does it for me. I do apologize if I sounded really, really negative. I just wanted to make sure I gave you all of my notes for this stuff. Um, like I said, I do feel like there are definite better alternatives. Even I have dry skin and I cannot stand like tackiness and stickiness. Again, I want to mention that it isn't oily necessarily, it's just sticky. Um, if you're somebody that does a lot of cream products on your face and you don't mind that tackiness, then maybe you'll actually like these. But for me, um, even though I do have dry skin and I do love dew, I love the dewy glossing, glistening look of it all but I just can't stand like touching it and it feels sticky like I can't stand it <laughs> and like I said if I'm going to just put another bronzer or contour or whatever over it there's just no point in it for me alright guys that about does it for me hopefully this video was helpful <laughs> if so please give me a thumbs up be sure to like comment and subscribe share the video if the mood suits you and I will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>